Hey, happy new year. We have made it to 2022. We got through 2021. It has been a year and every year I like to sort of check in, say hi, welcome to the channel. The channel grew incredibly big last year. Was not expecting that. Hi, welcome. I think I've said hello to you before, but hi. And as a lot of you have joined through the year, you may not know that every year I like to say hi and come up with some goals for myself for the year, for the channel, as well as check how I went against the goals that I set the year before. I don't want to look at what I told myself I was going to do last year because I don't think I did any of it at all. I don't even want to know. Last year was really hard in my head, especially regarding the channel. I think I made the mistake personally of thinking I just needed to get through 2020 and then 2021 happened and it may have been worse than 2020. On top of that, the channel actually had a lot of challenge in regards to audio and that really took the wind out of the sails because I personally struggle so much when I'm trying really hard at something and then something completely out of my control happens that kind of ruins everything and the audio, whatever it is, keeps happening. It meant I had to re-record like six videos for Until Dawn. It affected two of the videos in The Last of Us, which I just could not fix at all. And it really bummed me out. It makes things really hard. And at least twice I nearly impulse deleted the entire thing because I just couldn't deal with it anymore. And I was just like, you know what, if it's just gone, that'd be great because then I don't even have to worry about it. And everyone knows a big thank you to my husband for saying, hey, maybe you should sleep on that decision before you go and just delete like years of work. So we're still here and I do enjoy it. So don't take my brain stuff as not enjoying making content for the channel because I really do enjoy playing games with everyone. It's just, two years of being locked in a tiny apartment hasn't been the greatest. I still did my journal cover. It's a little I am Setsuna watercolor, which I think I must have had a time early in the year where I was just like, I'm going to paint on this thing, even though I don't know how to do it. We're just, we're going to wreck it like Ralph if that's what happens and we will be okay with that. And it actually turned out all right enough for me. <laughs> So I'm quite happy with that journal cover. I think for this year, I just want to set my goals goal really small and I'm going to two, two, I might do two. First one is to try and maintain, continue to maintain the weekly schedule. It blew up for the first time this year with the audio. I missed one week for the first time in years and that absolutely devastated me. So if I can get out one video a week this year, that would be great. My second one, which is probably the bigger deal, is I want to make a video not with myself. Actively ask someone if they will record a video with me. That is very scary and intimidating. I've met no one in this space who does videos. I don't talk to people online. I'm very scared of people online, even more than I'm scared of them in real life. But I think it would be a really nice thing to make a video with someone else. So note to self, Kim, be brave enough to message someone and say, hey, would you spend half an hour recording a video with me? Not that scary, you can do it. And I just wanna finish up by saying thank you everyone for joining me, for having fun with me, for talking with me. As always, this is just a great, time. It is really a highlight of my week working on this stuff and reading all your comments and talking to all of you. It is a lot of fun. So thank you. Here comes 2022. We can do it. Bye. <laughs>